Yeah, Those true awesome. Are right. Yeah, just spur of the moment. Change of plans, let's yeah. just go somewhere and different. different yeah, completely different. So. G'day. Hi. Hey, <laughs> don't. Well, welcome to a new episode. Um, Wyla was cut short, as you know, because of weather and our plans going to WA. So we had a quick think and a quick change of plans, got major all, plans. Yeah, we got also nine, uh, our nurse is staying with us for a month, covering, and we didn't want her to be with us and not her sunshine, it was going to rain yeah, the whole time. It's going to be wet for a couple of weeks, so we thought, okay, well, um, the plus, uh, we we're going to drop her off at Perth, so that wasn't going to happen. So there's no yeah. point going to the border and back and whatever. So we thought, okay, we'll just um, complete change, complete loop, and we'll show you where we get there. We're not telling you yet. No, that it's probably a part from Gogoli Way. It's probably the only place in Australia that's got sunshine. <laughs> that's it. And it's not a Victoria. No, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll keep going and um, we'll see you when we're looking at you. Bye. Or when you're looking at us. Very. Stopped at the Peterborough just for a bit of lunch and empty the toilet. Don't go past the dump point. And um, we left Rayala and it was raining and pouring down. It was four hours later and it's still raining. <laughs> it pretty much hasn't stopped raining since we left Wyala. Got to here. No, it doesn't matter because sure. where we're going, it's sunshine. Yeah, what? Sunshine. Sunshine. Oh, where, where we're, we're going, going is sunshine. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, if you're following us on our other socials, you'd know where we're heading by now. Look, but I'm still keeping it a secret. Um, yeah, all right. We'll see where we stop for the night. Uh, miles, uh, sorry, 
liters per hundred. And at the moment, that's that's probably fixed up. That's probably down to about um, 19 now. So it's still back on there. Lots of hills. So I think that's not too bad. So we'll, we'll see if the light comes on before we get into Broken Hill. I'll let you know. Well, we've got here the lights on and so we'll fill up at how much is it dollar uh, 73 oh well it's got to be done 130 liter tank let's see how much goes in it 110 liters exactly so 20 liters to go not too bad the light was on and it was just off the um, off the big big dot say dead empty so not too bad no. considering hang on okay it was 110 litres no. and it cost $191 oh, okay. well so yeah you gotta expect that out here all right we well, shall find a free camp for the night. Okay, okay, okay. We found one. Okay. Alright, we'll show you when we get there. Well, we stopped at Little Topper Roadhouse. Oh, hello. Yeah. See how he just pulled out. <laughs> yeah, a bit grungy. Anyway, Little Topper, um, yeah, I suppose, Roadhouse. But it's not, not bad, but it's for a stop. It's a stop just here. Park up. I think this toilet's just over there. Um, yeah, but we're going to um, keep going. Just had dinner because Sylv needed the tablets. So we're going to go back to how we were when, well, about four or five years ago and just keep travelling until can't really travel anymore. <laughs> Just pull over. We'll, probably next stop we'll um, we'll pull over for the night and um, go from there. Which is next stop? Uh, about an hour and a half away is um, Will Kenya. Yeah. So and we just heard from inside the gallery. Was that? Yeah, I don't want to stop at Will Kenya, but. No, we won't stop actually there. It'll be a free camp somewhere. So we'll just see what happens. Alright, we'll let you know. See you there. Just thought so I'd give you my point of view. Uh, Travelling this time of night, it's about, about twilight time, and there's all these goats around. I've just passed from Kenya, and a lot of goats, pretty much everywhere in there. New South Wales outback, even South Australia. But anyway, um, the goats you don't have to really worry about. They're smart. If they're on the side of the road, they will head either side. Even if there's a group of them either side of the road, they'll bugger off either way. Not a problem. Emus, yeah, well, they've got their bloody brains in their bloody big toe. They'll run along the side of the road, go out. You think that they're going to uh, disappear out of the paddock, then they'll dart across in front of you. Bloody stupid bloody animals they are. Um, kangaroos, yeah, they're pretty much the same. They'll bounce along in, beside you and then cut straight across. But what I've noticed is um, there's a lot of water lying around here at the moment. And this might be famous last words, but I think what I've noticed is because there's a lot of water lying around, the wildlife, uh, really apart from the goats, the kangaroos and stuff that you've got to worry about, don't need to come to the side of the road to get the moisture that they need. There's plenty around, so they don't have to come. Um, I haven't seen so, kangaroos. Yeah, oh, okay. haven't seen, haven't seen it. I've seen the uh, emus, but they've been miles away. Um, kangaroos, not one. Um, 
I said famous last words, but um, I've seen plenty of dead ones, but they've been old, oh, dead, old corpses. So there's been a while since any new ones have been uh, killed. So just yeah, words of wisdom, maybe. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's good. Luck. Um, so tell me what you think. What your experiences are traveling down back. Place called Endale Roadhouse. Uh, just uh, one of those halfway stops along the side of the road. But it's um, just stopped overnight. I thought it was just a um, like a truck stop type thing, but um, it's actually a like a little 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 roadhouse and um, like a, an old farm or something that they've converted but a lot of trucks there's a powered site and a um, non-powered site place um, 10 bucks yeah doesn't matter um, that's for the non-powered um, but as you can see it's it's not a bad bit of an area over there where the trucks are Um, there's a car park and there's trucks over there tonight. Um, but yeah, just rock up, see the owner, give him 10 bucks, and away you go. It wasn't bad, we enjoyed it. Good morning again. Well, we're back on the road again. It's uh, at 20 past 8, heading towards uh, Cobar, and um, nice morning, nice day last night. Yeah, yeah, We stopped at the hotel about 9 o'clock, 9.30. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. But um, we just felt good, so we just kept going. We yeah, about 10 hours yesterday, so. I a fair chunk of the leg off. Yeah. Um, not like silk leg. But, um. <laughs> but anyway, um, see how we go today. And go with us and join for the ride. You reckon? Two days it's 5 30 now and we're just um, haven't long pulled up to St George Pelican Tourist Park okay. quite nice um, I'll give it a thumbs up and just here for the night obviously uh, but okay. how much is it um, we're going to go, so we're going to go to 32. 32 so normal price 35 um, power so yeah, just wanted to power it just so we can relax in some aircon for the night. And then tomorrow we should be at our destination. What can I do? Seven and a half hours. Seven and a half. We'll see what happens. We're done. 
I got ten exercises. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Doesn't matter. There's plenty of places to stop nearby anyway. Yeah. And um, that's it. Yeah. We're just going to shower and just rest up. Just chill up. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. We'll see where buggered. <coughs> we'll see you in the morning. All right. Good night. <laughs> Well, before we crash it, I thought I'd show you the park. This is where we camped up here yeah, under some nice yeah, the sun. A nice spot. A nice shady, grassy areas all through there. It's nice and open. Drive-through sites. Uh, they're drive-through. These aren't, but the one. It's nice. Someone's well, done their farm up, has it? Why not? There we go in, it's not, not too bad. And, right. There you go. Cheers, by the way. Mm, someone's cooking something good. Smell it. Hey, and there's some obviously cabins. Amenities are down there. The shed. Right at the front. Not too bad. At all. Alright. That might be it for tonight, unless I can think of anything else. I don't think so. No. Eric. So I don't know that he's going to get strong. When we get somewhere, he's always outside tinkering on something. But I thought we'd go see what he's doing. If I can find him. Hey, Hank, what's he doing? Uh, the same thing at me, little catch can. I like to oh, get there. Stops the oil fumes from getting back into the um, inlet manifold. Oh, okay. Stops enough, even though I've, I have eliminated the EGR. But, <coughs> nothing. Is that a good well, sign or not? There is a little bit, I'm not going to pour it out to show you. Oh, okay. But, no. um, there is a little bit in there, but. Nothing to do over there? No, it's probably. Barely enough, about a mil, two mils on the bottom of that. Of that. Oh, okay. So she's running good. Ah, oh, that's good. And um, other than that, everything's good. Oh. Oil level is pretty good. I might just top it up a little bit. Well, Black we've clutch. done a lot of driving. A lot of driving with the caravan, and it just put a bit of um, strain on the motor. So always stop, check, and I like to. Um, Get into the habit. I haven't been doing it lately, but I want to just lift the bonnet up when we stop overnight, just to let everything cool down uh, properly. That's everything. Um, and plus, it opening the bonnet will um, make you look to see if anything's rattled loose. Make you check the fluids, like the oil, the brake, clutch, and. Yeah, terminals on the battery see if anything's rubbed through that shouldn't rub through just general preventative maintenance and the car will love you for it yeah which it has been it's been ticking over perfectly and probably now is a good time to tell everyone mention that um John is uh, a man of many talents uh, <laughs> but one in particular which um to the picture, mm -hmm. which has come in handy or useful all the time, is John used to uh, repair and do maintenance on caravans. Yeah, that was my last job. Yes. Do all the repairs and fit accessories and everything to the um, 
to caravans, motorhomes, whatnot. So everything that I've done extra to the van, I've done myself with the help of um, a couple of things with um, my mate Simon. Um, Shout out to Si. Yeah, hi Si. Um, but um, it's good knowing what can go wrong yeah. and if it does go wrong you're able to fix it on the, on the road. Well we had a mishap a few days ago with the toilet cartridge. Oh okay yep well um yeah. yeah talk about that one that's a good one <laughs> and it could happen to you. Yes the toilet cartridge. Um, be careful with those round discs that you put in there um, to supposedly help the smell. <coughs> now, um, what happened with ours, it got caught in the opening mechanism and obviously it was either myself or Sylvia, don't know. Going <laughs> yeah, probably, I blame her anyway. Um, tried to open it and forced it. Th forced it and the one of the brackets inside the uh, um, cassette broke off which helped hold the lid up now every time you open and closed it that flap didn't work if no, you look down and you open yeah. and close you see the flap moving sideways that oh, wasn't God, working thanks. And we were in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and we're right, actually where were we up at uh, Will Pound the Pound? Yes. Yes, yeah. and of course, of course, it needed needed emptying. <laughs> so I had to put my hand inside, manage to close it, drive to the dump point, empty it out, and I brought it back. Um, I was able to know how to fix it, open it all up, and screw it all back together and now it works a treat um what did you do you flipped it over didn't you no instead of the that bracket that broke off being screwed from inside up through i drilled the holes from the top countersunk them and screwed it down from the top so it's it's actually a lot tighter than what it was originally and it probably will never break but that really like it's a dumb like he's been doing it for quite a few years but the other option is if you've got another cassette <laughs> just, just swap it over have a That's spare it. cassette it's always good to have a spare cassette in case yeah. you miss a dump point which you shouldn't miss drive past a dump point no. um but all in all that, that that's just one of the stories if something goes wrong if you know, you can fix it. Okay. Um, and if anyone's got any questions, like we can't kind of get jungle videos to answer all of them, but you know, maybe send it to us and maybe we'll do a little go yeah, on just, it. Yeah, just um, drop a comment. Yeah. If, if it's quick enough, I'll just reply in the comment. Otherwise, we'll, yeah, we'll do a little video on it. Yeah. 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 Um, and little handy tips That's so um, as we used to say in the army any queries questions problems and or dramas let us know all right everyone have a good night and we'll see you soon definitely that's it for the night Bye. <laughs>
roads across to where we're going are uh, closed due to the flooding basically but it hasn't been put up so everyone thinks they can go through but they can't so now we've been detoured half an hour out of our way This is awesome. The main back road across is out due to the floods that they've had up here recently. But um, there's the little back back road detours. Quite good. Check this out. Yeah. Look at that. That's an awesome old bridge. There's your herd as we crossed it. Cool. Oh, I like it. Yeah, we um, woke up this morning and thought, hello, where where are we? We sort of missed a couple of days. It was a bit daunting the last couple of days, but we're here in Harvey Bay. Harvey Bay. Yeah. So we'll start again. We'll try and start again. Uh. <laughs> but, um, so we'll leave you with, um, with our trip. Uh, yes. Um, from South Australia up to here. That's right. And um, the reason quickly why we had to go so is that two reasons only. One, WA border. 
Anchor, the Rugger. Yeah, the two main reasons why we came up here quick okay. was the WA border, we had to change the plans, and the weather in South Australia was turning rather south awesome. again. Yeah. So uh, now nah, bugger it, we'll come up here. And we got our nurse coming on Friday. So we can want her to have two legs at the grave of Kilgarilla. That's it. Yeah. Yep, so it's in um, Harvey Bay, the weather's beautiful. Yeah. And we'll kick off the next episode from uh, here. Yeah. Oh. Alright, enjoy and we'll see you in the tropics. <laughs> Bye. There's no wrong way to get lost in the right direction. Take off so long, just where who cares? As long as baby it's somewhere that we can get lost in the right direction. No name towns without addresses. Miles from a city old nest Four wheels A three weekend Two arms crossed One interception There's no wrong way To get lost Yeah, there's no wrong way To get lost In the right direction